Anyone who's tried Thai food will know it's absolutely delicious and the cuisine has taken the world by storm. So much so that a lot of chefs overseas have learned how to master the craft of Thai cooking. One of these is David Thompson, an Australian-born chef who's even gained a Michelin star for cooking Thai food. Well, he has a restaurant right here in Bangkok. It's called Nam, and we're here to try it out today. Thompson is a chef, he is Australian um, by, by birth. Uh, he came to Bangkok some time ago, around 30 years I guess, and uh, fell in love with the food, the you know, complexity and, and this sort of thing. So he just decided to come back and uh, undertook some training with a, a lady uh, whose, was, whose origins was in the royal palaces and this is where this food originates from. And uh, you know, David uh, David said to me before that the, the dishes that we have on the menu are they're from you know, royal Thai recipes, but the recipes are quite uh, sort of obtuse. They list a, group, uh, you know, a bunch of ingredients and they tell you how the, the, the dish should finally taste. So it's up to you to interpret how much of uh, any particular ingredient you put into this dish. So you know, there's an infinite amount of ways that a dish can be interpreted and uh, so any single chef can take a recipe take the ingredients and interpret it in their specific way so the food that we serve here is royal Thai food as it would have been served in uh, you know, 19th century Thailand in the palaces and it's David's interpretation of those dishes we Nam Bangkok open in September 2010 initially uh, I was brought out for uh, for six weeks to open the restaurant, uh, bought from London, Nam London, to uh, to open Nam Bangkok, and it ended up blowing out to three months. So uh, um, that was because of design changes, various things going on, you know, the time it takes to uh, hand over a restaurant. Um, but uh, no, it was uh, it was it was fine. The, the, I guess the difference between opening Nam London all that time ago and Nam uh, Bangkok is that the staff, the the, the servers. You know, are fairly familiar with the food, uh, although they may not know the, uh, the uh, ingredients of the dishes. They certainly were aware of them. A green curry is a green curry, and they know that. But um, no, it was it was uh, it was quite easy, I think. I'd say. The name, as far as I understand, it came from uh, David, and uh, this uh, pertains to the property in London, um, the Halkin Hotel, where Nam London is situated. Um, the property is uh, decorated according to uh, earth signs. So earth, you know, wind, fire, water, and uh, Nam means water in Thai. So it seemed like an easy choice, I think. It's, it's interesting because we, we kind of uh, get a feeling that people think this is a fine dining restaurant, but actually it's quite bustling and very busy and it's very uh, common for us to have uh, children in the restaurant, so it is a very busy, bustling restaurant. It's got a lot of hard surfaces, so it's it's quite noisy uh, on a on a busy night. It's a it's quite a noisy place, but you know it's fun. It, and I think that the uh, style of the food, um, the, the the sharing that uh, Thai people traditionally would do, uh, sort of uh, goes hand in hand with that. It's quite casual and and fun. Probably the most popular dish that uh, we have on the menu at Nam Bangkok is the coconut and turmeric curry of crab. It's, uh, it's fairly mild as far as curries go and quite approachable and absolutely delicious. You uh, don't have to do too much to it, you just eat it and it's very good. You don't have to pick the crab or anything like that. Uh, the other dish that uh, 
is quite challenging for most people because it is so crazy spicy uh, is the Geng Dai Bla, which means um, curry of uh, fermented fish in it. I think that's what it's, uh, yeah. Um, but it's very, very spicy, but it's very, very popular, uh, especially the Thai people. They love it. Monday. It seems to be the busiest day of the week. Um, perhaps it's because uh, people are coming back from uh, their weekend away and they want to just go out for a quick bite to eat, but Monday tends to be the busiest. When I look at the uh, reservations, um, I'll tell you the, uh, the prefixes, which gives it away. We have a lot of plus six one, which is Australia, plus eight five two, which is Hong Kong, plus six five Singapore, and we see a lot of Thais as well, and uh, expats living here. So. I think that's the, the broad mix of, of what we have in, uh, in Bangkok. We're consistently doing uh, wine dinners, collaborations with uh, wineries. Uh, I recently spoke to someone uh, regarding a collaboration with a winery in France, Vouvre, uh, called Hue. Uh, it's absolutely delicious and would work perfectly with the food, so that would be the next uh, event we'll do, possibly November or February next year. Thank you.